Support Wrestle Talk. Click the thumbs up. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis. Kurt Angle isn't just an Olympic gold medalist, WWE Hall of Famer, and general manager of Monday Night Ooh, King Slayer. He's also a key player in one of the most ridiculous wrestling storylines of 2017, with wrestler Jason Jordan being revealed as his illegitimate son. The father figure status appears to have gone to Angle's head, though, as he's now telling off young ruffians on social media. During a Q&A on his Facebook page, one Stephen McTeer eloquently asked the part-time wrestling machine, Can I wrestle you? I'm 14. Angle seemingly checked out McTeer's rather naughty Facebook profile and came back with the following assessment. If you straighten up and stop being disrespectful, I will wrestle you. No more flipping the bird in your Facebook photos. In kayfabe terms, as the general manager of Raw, Kurt is responsible for booking this week's critically and and commercially praised gauntlet match. But backstage, the real person responsible has supposedly been revealed. Having a near two hour seven man gauntlet match take up the first two thirds of Raw was a surprising and welcome change to the show's usual formula of in ring segment, backstage segment, and then Seth Rollins versus The Bar. The widely held belief in televised wrestling promotions is that long matches aren't good for ratings, as viewers with shorter attention spans will soon change channel. But those sweet, sweet numbers, thank you statistician Dana Brooke, proved the longer match concept a roaring success, with the gauntlet hours drawing an impressive three and a half million viewers with almost no drop off between them. And that was even against tough competition from the Winter Olympics. It was such a change from Raw's formulaic structure that we even joked Triple H had locked Vince McMahon in a cupboard. Well, according to a new report from PW Insider, the Booker responsible was actually Vince McMahon himself, with the site noting many backstage were surprised by his suggestion, as he doesn't usually like long matches, and it came from out of nowhere. I'm not talking to you, Randy, you blocked me on Twitter. We criticise McMahon a lot for the less enjoyable parts of WWE programming, but it's important to remember to give credit where credit's due. Just how every failed Sister Abigail gimmick, repetitive Rollins vs Bar match, and Bailey vs Your Life segment is down to the boss, so are all the genuinely amazing moments he approves too. We'll have to wait and see which category one of his biggest reported plans for WrestleMania 34 ends up in. It's been widely reported that The Undertaker will be returning to WWE for one last match again. Well, he'll finally face John Cena at WrestleMania. Following a vague promo at Raw 25 though, the dead man has done very little to start that feud. He'll have to turn up on WWE programming soon if this is indeed the plan. Possibly even at this Sunday's Elimination Chamber match, where Cena is competing to get his cherished WrestleMania moment. And going by a new Instagram post from Taker's real-life wife, Michelle McCool, it looks like he could be training for his return, where he's performing some very heavy squats on his surgically replaced hip. But what else will happen at this Sunday's Elimination Chamber? Click the video on the left to watch mine and Luke's predictions for the pay-per-view now. I've been Ollie Davis, and that was wrestling.